okay so recording is also going on so without any delay we should start with this this particular session that we are going to start with it's about the rpa ui path before this rpa ui path and all i am santosh i am working as a technical specialist hi kartik it's right time uh, like you did not miss anything we are just going to start with it okay so first of all this particular batch that we are going to start with it's about the rpa ui path before this about the trainer <laughs> i am santosh i am going to take your training i am working in a software company as a technical specialist with this rpa it's plus 7 plus year experience in this rpa especially with this ui path i am getting some time i am involved with the training i am taking all this training on saturday and sunday this particular batch that we are going to start with it's about the rpa ui path first of all so many time like uh, people are asking me the question i am taking all these live session from last 4 5 years once the after the covid now the live session pattern get started so now we have the option to deliver the few things over there so i am getting some time on saturday and sunday and i am involved with all these training from last online training from last 4 5 years already i am working with this ui path so many time people are asking me the question like santos you are going to give the training lot of contents are available with the youtube lots of contents are available with the google why i am going to attend your training remember this particular training that i am going to give you first of all this is the live training it's not like that i am going to provide you some recording and all it's completely the live training i am going to like everything we are going to do practically we are going to face the error we are going to resolve the error we are going to debug the program we are going to run the program everything we are going to do in front of you just like this like i am going to share the screen and you people are going to see this so it's going to be the live training number one number two it's not about the see i don't need to increase the subs subscription i don't need to increase the view here we are going to learn all the practical thing that really people are looking in the company already we are working in the ui path so we understand what exactly the current requirement is what the company is looking for we are involved with the interviews panel so we understand what exactly the requirement in, is and what people are lacking behind so it's going to be the practical training it's not like that i am going to give you the theoretical stuff or i am going to give you some notes it's going to be 100% practical training whenever the theoretical part is required like suppose i am going to start with the re framework at first i need to give the clear understanding about the re framework and then only we can do the practical thing so whenever the theoretical part is required we are going to do that whenever the practical thing is required we are going to do that so it's going to be the practical based training number 3 after this entire training we are going to develop the project in our entire course we have the two different project is there and i am not the kind of person that who is going to tell you like you need to develop the project because it's very easy for me like i am going to give you the training and uh, then i am going to assign you some project and uh, i am just asking you like okay you need to develop the project remember learning the technology and implementation of the technology both is a different thing learning is fine we are going to learn the technology but how we are going to implement that what will be the use case what will be the scenarios that is important when i am talking about the project 
always we need to understand what will be the entry of the project and what will be the exit of the project from where we need to start what pattern we need to apply what will be the coding standard how we are going to apply the error handling mechanism how we are going to do all the log files and all so we need to understand everything regarding the project so better i am going to give you the theoretical understanding of the project i am going to develop the project in front of you so you people are going to get the clear understanding like how to start the project during the project development what are the things we need to do so we are going to do it clearly from like once after after uh, like once our core portion of the ui path get completed one project will be there and once the advanced portions of the ui path get completed the another project will be there so we are going to work with the two project in that way no one can give you the live project demonstration how to develop the project lot of videos are available on the youtube but they are talking about the simple the activities only the activities is not going to work we need to work with the different use cases we need to work with the project and we should have the clear understanding how we are going to develop the project how we are going to work with the project 24 by 7 you have the support from my side what i am going to do i am going to create the whatsapp group i am going to create the whatsapp group in that particular whatsapp group any time you can text me it's not necessary that immediately i am going to give you the answer of your problem if you have anything need to discuss but whenever i will get some time definitely i will revert you back i am taking all these session this live session online session i am talking about like these are the multiple batches of the ui path these are the multiple batches of the ui path from last 4 5 years i am taking all this these are the multiple batches c stand for current running batches old stand for just recently get completed 3 month back 5 month back 6 month back r means the running batches like some batches are there like just so what i am talking about multiple batches of the ui path is going on so you don't need to worry about all these kind of thing it's going to be 24 by 7 support will be there suppose you are working in the company and you are facing the problem i will be there definitely i am not going to develop the project for you definitely i am not going to do any proxy kind of thing for you because it's not the ethical thing that i am going to do with you but definitely whenever you are going to develop any project you are facing the problem in the company you can discuss with me you just text me whenever i will get some time because i also have the time is the constant for me also because suppose i am working in the company like suppose i am in the meeting how i can respond you back so immediately so what i will do I, whenever i will get some time i am going to respond you so so many things are there here we are talking about the scenarios here we are talking about the use cases here we are talking about the use cases that rare use cases that normally you people cannot analyze the things during the training so we are going to discuss all the rare use cases that we are facing in the company what exactly the company is expecting from you when you are going to join any company as ui path developer or the senior developer so this entire session is going to be live it's going to be the practical oriented training we are going to work with the project okay regarding the course content i am talking about in the entire ui path we are going to learn about the core portion of the ui path we are going to learn about the advanced portions of the ui path and few other thing is also there that we are going to learn under the core ui path portion definitely at first we need to understand this rpa it's a life cycle some theoretical part are there that we need to understand we need to understand about the ui path different components we need to understand about the ui path installation and configurations and all after that we are going to learn about all the basics basics means what how we are going to display the message how we are going to take the input how we are going to apply the if how we are going to apply the for how we are going to apply the while how we are going to apply the break and continue because automation it's okay but before the automation you need to prepare the things for that purpose you need to get the understanding of all the basics 
how we are going to use the list how we are going to use the array how we are going to use the loop how we are going to apply the if how we are going to apply the assign activity how we are going to use the message box how we are going to use the input box after this we are going to start with the automation journey at first we are going to learn about the excel automation under the excel automation under the excel automation we have the option for the excel application scope we have the option for the workbook activities and we have the options for the modern activities we are going to learn all these three options how to work with the modern activities how to work with the excel application scope and how to work with the workbook activities and during and remember one important thing initially when people are talking with me na, regarding the ui path they are trying to put all the big things in front of me like sandosh i want to do re framework or uh, orchestrator or they are talking about all the biggest stuff over there but believe me if you are comfortable with the excel automation if you can automate the excel 40% of your ui path get completed maximum of the time in every automation the excel is involved and you need to do the typical excel manipulation we are going to do all that no need to worry about it's not like that i'm just going to read the excel i'm going to write the excel no reading and writing the excel is not going to fulfill our purpose we are going to learn about the join we are going to learn about the merge we are going to learn about all the important aspects of the excel automation how to apply the lookup how we are going to apply the pivot everything we are going to learn about the excel automation after this excel automation we are going to learn about the word automation we are going to learn about the pdf automation we are going to learn about the mail automation we are going to learn about the exception handling because it's required for the project purpose that's why i'm going to complete this topic over there we are going to learn about how to manipulate the string how we are going to manipulate with the date and time we are going to learn about the variables and argument we are going to learn about the different types of workflow types of the workflow and after this here we are going to learn about the web automation here we are going to learn about the recording we are going to learn about the scrapping after this here we are going to develop one project this project is entirely based on these topics after this and remember the ui path two year back or three year back and now this ui path so many changes are there drastic changes are there so what i am talking about whatever the concept that we are talking about we are going to learn all the modern activities options over there because now we don't have that traditional activities available on the youtube we are going to learn about all the modern activities that it's get added now with the ui path here we have the advanced ui path portion under this advanced ui path portion under this advanced ui path portion we need to focus on the orchestrator orchestrator is all about the deployment orchestrator is all about the deployment we have the different types of boat like we have the attended boat and we have the unattended boat how we are going to deploy that we are going to work about the queue we are going to work about the assets we are going to work about our job everything related with the orchestrator we are going to learn everything related with the orchestrator we are going to learn here also we are going to learn about the re framework we are going to learn about the re framework uh, right now in the industry whenever you are going to develop any project people are using re framework so re framework is basically a kind of project template we have re framework is a kind of project template we have if uh, like suppose i need to develop any project so how we are going to start with that at first we need to select the re framework so re framework orchestrator excel automation the web automation if i need to conclude the ui path to get the job 
if i need to conclude so many things are there so many topics are there i can take your entire ui pass session for one year so many contents are there but if i need to conclude the ui pass i need to give some boundary because like lot of things we need to do in the life it's not only the rpa or the ui pass it's okay just to like just for the betterment we are going to do all these stuff but if i need to give the boundary to the ui pass and if someone is going to ask me the question santosh what are the topic i need to complete to get the job in the ui path my answer will be get comfortable with the rf framework get comfortable with the orchestrator get comfortable with the web automation excel automation pdf automation mail automation that's it it's going to fulfill your purpose but we are going to learn the entire things everything is important i am not saying like it's not important but among these important if i need to give the boundary this is the boundary from my side so we are going to learn about the rf framework here we are going to learn about the ui path forms we are going to learn about the ui path forms how we are going to work with the web api how we are going to work with the json data how we are going to work with the xml all these topics we are going to learn and here also we have the another project and this particular project is going to be fully based on re framework this project is going to be based on these topic here i am not going to use the re framework without using re framework we are going to develop the project and it is not necessary that always you are going to use the re framework there is the scenarios but maximum of the time people are using this so we are also going to do that and that will be in our practice also because this is the industry standard but it's not necessary so here we are going to develop the project without using re framework and here we are going to develop the project by the use of re framework okay now our ui path portion it's okay now we are familiar with the things but it's only going to cover the 70% of your profile 30% people are asking the few other things also so many time people are asking me the question like i am not from the technical background can i also learn that ui path my answer is yes you can learn that in the ui path the coding is required even the google is going to give you the answer no we don't need to write the code but because we need to get the job we need to get we are expecting some better result so we need to write the code and we are going to learn a to z from that so you don't need to worry about even if you don't have the programming background still you can learn because i am going to start it from the beginning people are asking me the question like what what like with what technology we need to be comfortable before the ui path my answer is if you can operate the machine if you can work with the machine you can work with the ui path like if you are comfortable with the ms office you can operate the windows and all you can do the ui path so what i am trying to say in other portion we are also going to learn about the c sharp entire ui path is written in dotnet c sharp is the language of the dotnet so people are expecting from you you don't need to be the master you don't need to be the developer but what people are expecting from you like you should have some working knowledge of the c sharp you should have some knowledge with the bb dotnet you should have some knowledge with the sql server now you can tell me santos when we are going to learn about the c sharp bb dot net sql server you don't need to be the master you should have the working knowledge how to install the sql server how to create the table how we are going to apply and we are going to make the connections of the sql server with ui path like bb dot net the entire ui path you are going to write the code of bb dot net people are expecting from you the c sharp and bb dot net so we have some session on the c sharp bb dot net sql server and nowadays people are also trying to explore and they are using the python with this so we are also going to learn about the python now you people can ask me like santosh we need to learn all these things for the ui path i am here just to uh, think about like it's a less code we need to write and you are saying okay you need to, you no need no need to worry at all we are going to learn from what is python and i am not going to take more than two session for that i am just going to take two three session two three session two three session that's it 
I am just going to take the few sessions for this particular topic just to complete your profile. So if someone is going to ask you the question in the because in the UI path we have the combinations with the Python. In the UI path we need to write the code of the VB.NET. In the UI path we need to make the connections with the SQL Server and that's why we are going to learn this. Got my point? So this is the entire profile that we are going to learn about. This is the entire thing that we are going to learn about in the UI path along with the projects and all. The entire duration of the course and remember if you are not from the coding background I am going to start it from what is variable, what is programming, what is language. So no need to worry about it. It's going to be very easy for you. You just need to attend the session, go through with the recording, need to do the practice. The entire session is going to take it's going to take the duration is going to be take like two months. The entire session it will takes around two months. And we have the session on Saturday and Sunday. We have the session on Saturday and Sunday. And our session will be from 6 p.m. IST. This will be the time for the session. This will be the time from the, for the session. Saturday it's going to be 6 p.m. IST. Sunday might be if uh, you people will feel comfortable we can slightly make it early. So Saturday, Sunday we have the session otherwise this time is perfectly fine. So Saturday, Sunday we have the session for two hours. But remember it's not only the two hours. Suppose I'm going to start with the topic like I'm going to start with a list. I'm going to start with the array. And these two topics it's get completed in one and a half hour. Further I'm not going to start with any other new topic. Because I don't want to keep all the thing in front of you like a bouncer. Because it's not my job just to take the session, just to complete the hours. My responsibility is you should be comfortable with all these topics. Because you need to also do the practice. You need to complete the things at your end. Because for me it's a like a hardly it's matter for me. I just need to write, I just need to start and it has to run. But once you are going to do with your machine, it will definitely, it will take time. You are going to make the like error will be there you need to debug the program so many things you need to do so basically the topic is important suppose I'm going to learn about the mail automation and after one hour I'm thinking after one and a half hour I'm thinking like this particular topic no it's more than enough I'm going to stop that suppose I'm going to start with the RE framework and suppose some of the time it's required more time I'm going to continue with that suppose we are going to work with a project in the project I am going to take the session for 3 to 4 hours. So this is how we are going to complete the session. Yeah, officially it's going to be 2 hours. Like you have the boundary, like it's going to be 2 hours. Some of the time like in the project work and all, it's going to be 3 hours, 4 hours like that. Because see, only we are going to complete the entire thing. If you people are going to cooperate in the proper way, like if you are going through with the recording, if you are going to follow the recording, the notes and all then only the things will get completed for you. The entire session it will take around two months but it might be sometime like it's happened like suppose I'm going to suppose uh, we are going to discuss the few things in the baby.net and it's taking time. So no need to worry about it can be 2.5 months because the important thing is we need to complete all these entire course content and everything in the proper way. It's not like the time or it's not like the hours and all. Got my point. So this is how we are going to do li like all these contents and everything in front of you. So if you have any questions regarding this now, anything like you would like to discuss regarding this, anything from your side. Yes, please. Anyone having any question? Hi, Santosh. Uh, this side Palas from Kolkata. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Please. Okay. Please. Okay. So my... Uh, I have a question like after completing these uh, courses what are the companies uh, what are the role that company offers like a developer uh, like analyst or support role uh, as a beginner yeah yeah I am telling you yeah that's mm -hmm. the good question that's the good question yeah mm -hmm. okay I am giving you the, all these details first of all try to understand the few things 
once you are like if you are trying to get the job if you are trying to get the job suppose uh, first of all honestly speaking as a fresher it's not only the ui part as a fresher if you are going to keep your resume as a fresher like uh, in any technology you are not going to get the job underline this as a fresher it's a tough task to get the job it's a tough task really a tough task now you can ask me like santosh what is the option in the ui path you need to put some experience and you are going to put the experience of one year you are going to put the experience of two years not more than that it's my suggestion go for 1.5 years or go for two years like that it can be your genuine experience it can be your fake experience how it can be the genuine experience like suppose right now suppose you are going to start with the ui path and suppose in particular companies you are working from last three years with the individual technology what you can say because no one is going to cross check that you was there in the ui path or not so you just need to manipulate the few things over there to get the job okay and after that suppose you are going to put keep 1.5 years and you are going to manage that experience you are going to put two years after that what you need to do you are going to get the job as ui part developer people are going to offer you the job as the developer it can be the support also because nowadays like support is also like so many companies they are looking for for the support so and it's nothing wrong with that suppose support is going to be more it's more critical than the development because in the support you need to work with a multiple project at a time and if company like client is getting that trouble some problem will be there with the board immediately you need to resolve that that's a challenge always so what i believe like support is the more typical in compared to the development okay so as the ui part developer as the ui part support as a analyst as an analyst you need to work with some use cases and all so because here we are going to learn everything we are going to learn about the scope the limitation the capabilities of the ui path so everything is there so these are the profile that you can go for but one thing is sure you need to manage some level of experience it can be even if you are going to put in your resume like you are working with the xyz company and from from last two years in last two year like from last one year you are working with the ui part you just keep some experience like one year one and half year then only you can get the call and you can get the job if you are going to make it blank like you don't have any experience then definitely uh, like uh, it's my observation like people are not getting the calls to get the call you need to put something either you are going to put manage some fake experience or you are going to uh, definitely i am not going to promote all this but definitely if you are going to be sir harishchand you are not going to get the job to get the job you need to manipulate the things got my point and this is the thing like this is what you are going to get clear okay so uh, as you you have you told earlier that you are a part of panelist team or uh, interview panelist team uh, you work with that so uh, when you are taking the interview after seeing the resume so do you get uh, understand that this person is uh, giving a one one I'm one five I'm year yeah yeah i am telling you so you get my point right yeah yeah yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. i am telling you what company is expecting from you that is the most important okay. company is expecting you should have some good knowledge with the ui part uh -huh. number 1 for this particular thing i am going to ask you some question i am going to put some question in front of you what is the difference okay. between excel application scope and workbook activity i am going to put some question and if you are going to give the answer of these questions properly further i am expecting can you work with the project so i am going to ask you the question related with the project how you are going to develop the project what are the process you are going to follow so you if you have the content knowledge if you have the project knowledge this is not going to be matter for the companies because ultimately company require the professional 
if you have the knowledge if you can work with the project everything is going to be digestible got my point company okay. is not basically they are not trying to find out the fact whether you are working in the company or not even some okay. of the time people are working in the company they don't have the knowledge of anything so basically yeah. what company is looking for company is looking for your knowledge if you have the knowledge if you can work with the project you can deliver the project i don't have any problem whatever the experience you are writing in your resumes what my point so this is the important thing okay yeah so even so what, even though, whatever project yeah i am going whatever to put the simple question i am just okay. going to put the simple question and i can simply i can observe that you worked on the ui path or not so okay. there is the scope we have the scope for that i am going to put all these questions in front of you so you don't need to worry about you can you will be capable enough to give the answer of the question up to 2 year 2.5 year 3 years okay yeah yes please anyone having any other questions please so what uh, so you told you will uh, develop two project during the session mm -hmm. so can we uh, use those project yeah yeah uh, definitely, mention definitely. those project yes, in the yes, cv people are going to do that okay you are going to put all these project in the resume along with that i am also going to put some other project summaries over there in front of you all the questions okay. and answer that people are going to ask you so i am going to put all these thing in front of you that you need to do you are going to put in your resume okay okay thank you for the clarification yeah yeah perfect anyone having any questions please anyone any question uh, you like anything you would yes. like to discuss yes please santosh um uh, now that you spoken i uh, came in late which use cases are we going to use like which industries are you going to focus on you are talking about the industry yes like the use cases which one yeah yeah use like? cases i am telling you mm -hmm. all the call center all the bank all the insurance <laughs> whatever the companies you are talking about now they are moving towards the automation it's not only the software company all the call centers all the bank all the insurance sector all the textile house all the export house every company nowadays they are moving towards the automation got my point because we are going to automate the process development already completed for every company already they develop the apps they develop the website now they are shifting towards the automation so that's why that's why even like this is a tough time for the industry but i am telling you that's why the thing is going on i am telling you like multiple batches for the ui path i am taking and all these batches is going on because it's a requirement is there these all are the ui path batches i am taking all these batches regularly because the requirement is there people are getting the job people are getting the good options over there so all the industries and all the sectors they are using either it's going to be the hr it's going to be the finance every company nowadays moving towards the automation so no need to worry about all these things okay another question I, it sounds stupid but <laughs> i see a lot of people doing do two jobs is it possible with automation to do two jobs your voice is not coming properly what you are saying i say is it possible to do two jobs i see a lot of people other people who are doing devops uh, see, basically do... i am not able to give the answer of all these questions like get the two two job or what you are saying yeah so basically okay. that depends on you like how you are going to manipulate the things okay thank you for this entire course the fee is going to be 3800 right now we have the offer actual fee is it's a different one it's a higher fee but for this particular batch right now we have the independence day offer so it's going to be 3800 only we have the next session on saturday at same time we are going to start with the session saturday we have the batch that will be the first session that we are going to start with it's going to be a start on saturday day after tomorrow 
at 6 pm IST we are going to start with the session okay that will be the first session and this is the fee if anyone having any question any concern you can text me you can connect with me in that particular group all the group I am the admin you can directly connect with me you can put your questions and all and we can also discuss about this thing it's fine yes yeah fine okay thank you so much if you have any concern any question anytime you can connect with me I will be there okay thank you so much yeah. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Yeah, thanks a lot. Thank you. Thanks a lot. Take care. Oh.